Dr. Allo again. So today I'm going to talk about my five favorite uh, weight loss books along with a bonus book. So if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Allo. I'm a cardiologist. Uh, I've been te- and a board certified personal trainer. I've been teaching weight loss for almost 20 years. And I usually lecture at medical conferences, teaching physicians how to teach their patients uh, to lose weight properly. So I always get asked after my lectures at medical conferences, hey, Dr. Allo, we love your philosophy. We love all the research, all the data. Where did you come up with this stuff? So obviously a lot of it is research and literature review, primary literature review and whatnot. But if I had to re- recommend to patients uh, a handful of books to read to like really teach you how to lose weight properly without the fad diets, without intermittent fasting, without keto and all that, you know, just pure, you know, pure weight loss. And obviously you can do intermittent fasting, you can do keto, you can do all that stuff if it works for you. Um, I, you know, we can get into those things a little bit in, in different videos, but if I had to recommend five weight loss books, I would say 1A uh, and 1B would be Fat Loss Forever by Dr. Lane Norton and Flexible Dieting by Alan Aragon. Um, these two books are like almost textbooks uh, on weight loss. Um, very well done, very well written. They're each about you know, almost like 300 pages. If you want to know everything from A to Z about weight loss and you wanted to read only one book, just pick one of those two books. Either one of those books is like a perfect guide from A to Z uh, on weight loss. Everything from like, what does the research show? You know, what kind of diets to eat? How to split up your macros? What to pick? What not to eat? The importance of carbs, uh, proteins, and fats and how to select them and all that they're all in those books and it's soup they're both fantastic the next book i would recommend is by dr herman ponzer um he is an anthropologist that has spent about 20 years it's called burn uh here it is burn by dr herman ponzer he has spent 20 years researching basically how humans burn calories how much calories they need how many you know, calories a day you have to have. He is also an anthropologist, so he studies uh, like, you know, modern day hunter-gatherer tribes and like ancestral uh, tribes and how people used to eat. You see a lot of these, uh, you know, crazy people on on, uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever talking about ancestral diets. You got to eat ancestral diets. Uh, You know, we used to eat only meat and we never ate carbs and we never did this. Well, The person who knows the most about this would be an anthropologist and he can tell you what the ancestral diet was and it was just it was not just protein at all. Um, Hunter-gatherer tribes would go out and capture uh, uh, like animals while the women in the tribe or those who are a little more disabled would go hunting for fruits and berries and tubers you know modern day like potatoes you know uh, taro, you know, the yucca plants, things like that that are underground, like the roots, you know, root-based plants. And they would eat all kinds of things, salads, whatnot. Highly recommend it. I'll put the links to all these books um, down below. Um, Highly recommend Dr. Herman Ponzer's work. I'm trying to get him uh, to actually do an interview with me because I just loved his book. It's also in the neighborhood of two to 300 pages. Um, It's all of his data and then all that. And one thing you'll be surprised as the hunter-gatherer tribes they track them with doubly labeled water, which I go into some other videos, to check their total daily energy expenditure. You'll be surprised that they spend all this time, eight hours a day looking for food, hunting for food, 10 hours, you know, whatever it might be. They don't burn any more calories than modern day people like us who are sedentary. And he goes into the details of that at the book. So don't sit here and tell me, well, back in the old days, people used to, you know, expend more energy and run around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And, you know, that's why they stayed thin. Um, the answer is no, they did not. Um, men, according to, to the book and the data and the research, you need about 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day. Women need about 2,000 to 2,500. He goes into great detail about that. Great, great book. Um, it's probably not the, if you had to recommend one single weight loss book to your patients, probably wouldn't be that one, but that would be like an additional book. You should pick probably one of the first two. Um, the next book I recommend is by Dr. George Blackburn, and I, I don't have my copy here. I think I, somebody borrowed it, um, but I'll put a picture of it about, you know, right here maybe. Um, but it's called Breaking Through Your Plateau. Um, it's a fantastic book. He's a, he's a medical physician at Harvard uh, University. He spent 35 years researching weight loss, and he spent about four years writing the book. And in his book, he goes through pretty much everything you can imagine that has to do with weight loss. He goes through the Vermont prison uh, experiment. He goes through the Minnesota starvation studies. He goes through the Ansel 
these seven country studies he goes through like all of the research that we have on weight loss and then he does propose a mechanism for weight loss that your body can't adapt to and doesn't try to get back to your set point he says that by age 17 and 18 your weight is pretty much set and your body for the rest of your life will try to fight you to get back to that weight um, and he proposes mechanism how you can overcome that and break through your set point fantastic uh, read as well wouldn't be the only book I would recommend to patients, but it's definitely uh, a book that you uh, can recommend as additional reading and additional research. The next book is called Diet Lies and Weight Loss Truths. This is by Melody Schoenfeld and Suzanne Kleiner. Um, they're obviously not doctors, but they're PhDs and you know registered dietitians and whatnot. This book is not like you know how to lose weight, but it goes through all the diets and all the different research studies that either support or don't support that diet. So, you know, if somebody tells you, well, keto causes this or intermittent fasting causes that or Atkins diet does this or whatever it is, um, this book goes through every single research study, very, very well done. Every single research study that tells you what keto does and doesn't do, what intermittent fasting does and doesn't do, comparing all these things. Um, it's a fantastic book for those who want more detail and more data uh, later. So that's my top five. Like I said, one A and one B, then like three, four, five. Um, that's what I have in my bookshelf. And that's what I recommend for people. And as a bonus, kind of a little bit of a shameless plug here. Um, this book is called Actual Weight Loss. This would be number six. If it reaches number one at some point, someone else thinks it's that worthy. Um, I would be greatly hum humbled and honored. This is the book that I wrote. It's called Actual Weight Loss. It's 160 pages. Um, super quick, easy read. Um, goes through all the data and research on weight loss, exercise, diet, and fitness, and how you can actually incorporate it into your life with lots and lots of uh, research studies, lots of data. Um, you can There's links in there to actually download workbooks and worksheets and cheat sheets and all kinds of stuff so you can make your own weight loss plan based on this data. Um, and this is very, very, very updated. 20, it was published in March 2022. If you click on one of the links in the book or like, you know, go to that web page. It's not like clicking on the, you know, printed version. It does come in hardcover and paperback. You can buy it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, anywhere where books are sold. You can get it for a whole lot cheaper, probably like one third the price or even less um, with one of the links below. But when you do download it from my website, you get access to the audiobook, PDFs, you know, weight loss classes, materials, bonuses. You get you access to all my uh, private lessons that I've given to people and teachings. Um, I think it's a fantastic book. Maybe one day in the future we'll be talking about this as like the best, you know, book about weight loss. Probably not right now. I would still, at this point in time, if you want to get like a, if you want like a PhD in weight loss, diet, exercise, nutrition, all the other books that I talked about, fat, at least Fat Loss Forever and Dr. Alan, uh, Fat Loss Forever by Lane Norton and Alan Aragon's book, Flexible Dining, both also include exercise research. Mine does too. Some of the others don't. They're just basically about diet and weight loss. Um, those would be my top five books plus the one bonus that I love. Uh, but definitely share this with people who are looking for weight loss books. This is the ultimate weight loss reading guide. Do you want a PhD in weight loss? These are the books that you need to read. Share this with someone who needs it. Grab some of my free stuff below.